I don't recommend putting black into a color palette, um, but instead, uh, what I what I do is I use ultramarine and umber, um, and several progressive layers, and uh, and mix up a black or a dark. Um, and you can do this with acrylic. You can do it with oil. You can do it with pastel, oil pastel, watercolor, anything really. Um, and this allows you to shift the tone of your dark around uh, as necessary. Like you can add red into it, make it a little warmer. You can keep adding blue, make it a little cooler. You can even add yellow if you wanted, or an orange. You know, I did find myself after a couple of weeks of using these wanting some greens and, uh, and just to be able to go directly um, into into the other colors rather than having to mix stuff. This does something very different when you start mixing white into it than, than black and white. It doesn't kill the depth of it. Very rich kind of a, a color mixing thing. Blue. And this red. So create create a nice little violet. Now, one of the things that I think is a weakness in the Conte uh, pastel pencil line is that they don't have that many options for desaturated colors like if you want to get something that's um that's of a low saturation but still um but still a rich in pigment you know say like a desaturated blue um it's very hard to to get that in their palette so but i imagine if these if these catch on and or why do you still expand the palette out a little more? You get options when you when you mix greens this way. So you notice with just a couple of a uh, couple of primaries each, you know you can have a huge huge variety of what you can uh, what you can mix. Get a nice vibrant orange carry around uh, about six or eight of these pastel pencils and you're, uh, you're pretty good to go.